hello friends welcome to free cat part modeling tutorial and in this tutorial we will learn how to create a simple rod with a real helical thread as you can see that I have made a helical thread on this rod and I will show you from the scratch how you can do the same in free cat in fact free cat fasteners workbench is very awesome you will get all type of fasteners there so it, this tutorial is not about to make a custom screw but this tutorial is about how to use the additive pipe features or you can make a similar feature like this so let's start our tutorial so I will close this part I will create a new file and before starting the tutorial if you like my method of teaching then you can support me on coffee link its link is given in the video descriptions your kind support will help this channel to grow and at the same times if you like my method of teaching then please like subscribe and share my video your small support will help this channel to grow so here I have a uh, created a new file I will go to the part workbench and in part workbench I will go to the create primitives I will click on it so in primitive sections you will get here lots of options a plane a box a cylinder a cone and here is the helix as we are going to make a helical profile so we will click on this helix and we will enter our values here so pitch I will keep 3 mm height I will keep 23 and radius I will keep 10 mm and after entering these three values we will create the helix and you can see that free free cat has created a helix for us now we will close it and I switch to the isometric view now we will switch to the part workbench and in part workbench you can see that we have the helix but we do not have uh, any features here so here we have uh, two options one is a part and one is body and this part just work as a container so first I will create a part and inside that part I will insert my body so this body is a children of this part now I will select my body and I will go to the task pane and I will say create sketch and I will select this exit plane now here we draw our thread profile so here I have just draw a rectangle now I will make these two points as horizontal and dimension between these two points is 9.5 and this I will give 0.5 I will delete this line and this vertical dimension I will give 2.9 I will select this and this and I will make equal now I will draw two line in angle and I will give my angle angle I give 150 150 now our sketch is fully constrained click on close and here part design we will use this additive pipe features select on object so FreeCAD had selected this profile now we will click on Sept watch profile 
so you can see that FreeCAD did the job but it does not look appropriate so in orientation standard I will select Frenet and I will click on OK and here I will click create cross reference and say OK so you can see that how FreeCAD has created this helix for us now now we switch to the part workbench and again we go to the primitives and we will go to the cylinder now we make the rod so we will select the cylinder so radius we will kept as a 10 height as our height of this helix was 23 so we will keep as a 27 more than 23 and we will say create so you can see that FreeCAD has created the rod and and you can change this its pitch its diameters or rod as per your requirement now I will save it so this is how to create a simple rod with helical thread so this is very small tutorial for the beginners to aware about the some features of the part workbench like the part primitives and and this additive pipe features in part design workbench I hope you have liked this tutorial and uh, if you like it then please like subscribe and share my channel and also check my coffee page link which is given in your video descriptions i will come with more useful tutorial on a free cat thank you for watching and thank you for your valuable time